There are a lot of assumptions and generalizations that are being made about the real estate market in the city of Vancouver. Part of that has to do with the misinterpretation of the general statistics that are released by the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver, which are the totals and averages of 17 different cities that are covered by the board. And part of that has to do with the reporting on the real estate market, which makes it seem like we're in a market that is strongly favoring buyers. This is why I've put together this market report video, which is specific for the city of Vancouver. In this video, I will be talking about the condo, townhome and detached homes markets on the east side and the west side of Vancouver. I'll be pointing out the most favorable neighborhoods for sellers and the most favorable neighborhoods for buyers. And I'll also be talking about the most important statistic that you should be monitoring. Hey, what's up guys? Manny Graywell here with Oakwin Realty. I help my clients successfully navigate through their buying and selling journeys while protecting their best interests and helping them make informed decisions. One of the most commonly reported stats is sales. Sales compared to last year, sales compared to last month, sales compared to the 10 year average. But sales will only tell you part of the story and it's not the most important statistic you should be following. The statistic that you should be following is the one that relates sales to the inventory levels and that stat is called the sales to active listings ratio. The reason why that is the most important statistic is because it tells us if we're in a buyer's market, a balanced market or in a seller's market and which direction prices may be heading. Consecutive months of a buyer's market can lead to downward pressure on pricing while consecutive months of a seller's market can lead to upward pressure on pricing. So based on the sales to active listings ratios, what were the condo, townhome and detached home markets like in the month of June? Starting off with the condo market for the east side of Vancouver, all of the neighborhoods were sellers market except for one. The top three neighborhoods for sellers were Maine, Renfrew and Renfrew Heights and the only neighborhood that was a buyer's market was South Vancouver. For the west side, there was two neighborhoods that were in a balanced state while the remaining neighborhoods were an equal split between sellers markets and buyers markets. The top three neighborhoods for sellers were Fairview, Quilchena and Kitsilano and the top three neighborhoods for buyers were Oak Ridge, South Camby and Cole Harbor. Before moving on to the townhome markets, I wanted to thank you for watching and also wanted to let you know that I will be continuously providing these types of updates about the real estate market in the city of Vancouver as the market continues to go through this transition. If we would like to be kept up to date, please click on the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments about this video or questions or comments about the real estate market or if there's any topics that you'd like me to cover going forward, please mention them in the comment section below. Moving on to the townhome markets, for the east side, the vast majority of the neighborhoods were seller's markets. There was one neighborhood that was in a balanced state and there was only one neighborhood that was a buyer's market. The top three neighborhoods for sellers were Maine, Champlain and Fraser and the only neighborhood that was a buyer's market was Grandview. For the west side, just over 50% of the neighborhoods were seller's markets. There were a couple of neighborhoods that were in a balanced state and the remaining were buyer's markets. The top three neighborhoods for sellers were Fairview, Yaletown, and Camby, and the top three neighborhoods for buyers were South Granville, South Camby, and the West End. And lastly, with the detached homes market, for the east side, one third of the neighborhoods were buyers markets, one third were in a balanced state, and one third were sellers markets. The top three neighborhoods for sellers were Maine, Mount Pleasant, and Fraser, and the top three neighborhoods for buyers were South Vancouver, Renfrew, and Fraserview. For the west side, a majority of the neighborhoods were buyers markets, and there was three neighborhoods that were sellers markets. The top three neighborhoods for sellers by default were Kitsilano, Mackenzie Heights, and Caresdale, and the top three neighborhoods for buyers were Oak Ridge, Dunbar, and Arbutus. Now I'm not saying that the real estate market isn't changing. In fact, I talked about how the real estate market had been shifting for a couple of months in my blog post back in May. The market has definitely cooled, but you have to remember that it's cooled from a very heated state. And as you can see, there are still plenty of neighborhoods that are sellers markets. And some of these neighborhoods have very strong sales to active listing ratios. This is why I always emphasize not to rely on general statistics news headlines and averages when making a decision about buying or selling. 
you should keep your eye on the areas and the property types that are the most relevant and the most important to you. Be market wise. Monitor what matters so that you can make informed decisions. In my next video, I will be talking about how pricing has been affected in the condo, townhome and detached home markets in the city of Vancouver. And I'll also be sharing some examples of some recent sales. That video will be coming out in a couple of weeks, so please stay tuned. As I mentioned before, if you would like to be kept up to date with the real estate market in the city of Vancouver, as we continue to move through this transition, please click on the subscribe button below. If you have any questions or comments about this video or about the real estate market or if there's any topics that you'd like me to discuss going forward, please mention them in the comments section below. And lastly, I would really appreciate it that if you did like this video, if you did find value in it, if you can please click on the like button or share it so others like yourselves can also get a chance to see it. If you would like to get access to the neighborhood rankings for the condo, townhome and detached homes markets mentioned in this video, based on the sales to active listing ratios, please click on the link below. If you have any questions about home values or specific areas and property types, you can also click on the link below. Or if you prefer, you can call me, you can text me, you can email me. I promise you that I'll provide you with an informative, pressure-free conversation. Thanks for watching and have a great day.